Hey you guys, Lacey and Steve from Duo Reacts. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching Steve, Steve. and Lacey. Steve Scott. <laughs> Lost Season 1, Episode 16. Whatever, Blondie. Oh my gosh. Uh, Outlaws. We were just talking about nicknames. Yeah, we were just talking about what what, Sawyer would, what nicknames do we think Sawyer would have for us. And I said, I think he'd call me Blondie. Yeah. And you, Captain. Or something. Or something like that. Um, or Flags. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I enjoyed episode 15, Homecoming. Um, very interesting episode. Um, I'm really curious as to what this one's about. And who it's about and what it's going to, I mean, every one of these episodes, excuse me, just took a drink of Pepsi. So it's like that, you know, that thing. That thing. That thing. Yeah. But all these episodes have been amazing. Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever watched a show where every one of them was so good that it, it just drives you, you know what I mean? Like. There, there's been shows like with The Walking Dead that they were all good, but there were shows that was like, oh, I could have done without, you know, or whatever. But this one is always catching my attention. Yeah. And I guess it's because going into this whole loss thing, a lot of people were like, oh, I don't know. But you are start, would... you are starting to get maybe a little bit like because so many people were like, well, I don't know how steve's gonna like that one because he's not gonna get answers right away and you know that whole thing and i'm actually really good with it I'm, yeah i think you know, you're so doing far. just fine um yeah i have my moments i want to know what that, that's just who i am i want to know what's going <laughs> you're on like i want answers now but i'm but i have it drilled into my head that this is a marathon not a sprint yes and and that you'll get answers in time and yeah and you maybe know. it was good hearing that. Yeah, I think you it know? was, maybe. So, because I'm really loving the show. Definitely one of my tops, for sure. I won't be able to tell you that, but I have never seen, you know, 16 episodes will be going on where every one of them are so damn good. I'm like, yes, bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, bitch. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, you know, Charlie and his stuff. Need more. <laughs> It's it's becoming an addiction, is what you're trying it is. to say. It really is. Lost is a lot of fun, and I have Jack back here. Yep. Uh, thanks to Amanda, I have Jack on my side, and yeah, I'm ready to roll. All right. Well, let's do it. Steve and Lacey. Lacey and Steve. Wrong. Uh, he's here. I, 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 I know what's happening. Get under the bed. Sawyer. She's gonna die. I love you. I love you, mommy. Let's go. It's a husband, isn't it? I'm going to leave you. Get out of here. What are you doing? Oh, fuck. Oh. No. Oh, son of a bitch. Are you shitting me? Oh, my God. I just want to pick that kid up. <laughs> little little Sawyer. That was very heavy. Yeah. <laughs> She's like a freaking... <laughs> whispers. The whispers Alpha? again. This island. Now Saeed this. and Sawyer have both heard whispering in the jungle. This island. Pretty sure it was a boar. I thought the boy had vacated this area. Well, genius, I think we got some bad info. Perhaps he wanted to go camping. You enjoying yourself? He is. Yes. <laughs> Laugh it up, Mohammed. <laughs> But I come back and find my stuff's gone. I'm coming after you. 
out. He's like, okay, whatever. <laughs> After you ran into the French woman, you said you heard something in the jungle. I was injured and I was exhausted. My mind was playing tricks. What did you hear? I thought I heard whispering. What was it saying? Did you hear something? He's Let's like, say yes. Forget it. I didn't hear anything. I think that's all you needed to say, though. Here. About the known whereabouts of the man who runs your life. That guy, Frank Duckett. Real hard luck case. Gambling addict, alcoholic. Runs a shrimp truck. I paid Tony to pull his jacket. Turns out Frank Duckett used to be named Frank Sawyer. The name I believe you appropriated for yourself. This is him. That's him. All about that revenge. Let's get all the guns back. All except one. Who? I'm going to give you three guesses. Who do you think? Sawyer. Let him keep the gun. It's not worth it. Where are you are, he's going to shoot me if I ask. I just don't want you to owe him anything. Maybe he doesn't want you to have to make out with him again. So what, I'd see if you want to go for a walk? Sorry. I have to do something. Sure. See you later. He... He's turning Claire down? What? He is pissed at that boar. <laughs> did he say, did the whispering say don't turn back around or turn back around? Something about something like that. This morning, when I went to get my tent back, the attacks me from behind, runs off into the jungle like a coward. <laughs> a just it's a boar. No what are you doing? Get me. Did you listen to yourself? It's a boar. Just go tell Locke and he'll kill it. No, this is my fight. And a man who buys a compact 357 with hollow point loads, he's not looking to scare or steal. He's looking to kill. But when it comes down to it, if he finds he doesn't have what it takes to do the job, you look a man in the eye and you point a gun at him, you find who you really are, mate. And should you find you're not a killer, there's no refund. You all right? No, he's not. Nope. Post-traumatic stress disorder. Yeah, that's it. Did you ever have that? Why do you ask? Because I'm worried about Charlie. I mean, he killed the guy. He shot him in the chest four times. Maybe you should talk to him. So don't take it personal when I tell you to go. I want carte blanche. Simple. You can't track this boar without my help. Over the last few hours, you have managed to follow the tracks of humans, birds, a rock slide, yourself, basically everything <laughs> yourself. except boar. No idea what you're doing. Anytime I want something from your stash, medicine, soap, whatever, I get it. No questions asked. And what she's going to ask for is the gun, probably. All right. You got a deal. But if you want a drink, you got to play. I never. I suppose to know what that means. It's actually never have I ever. Thank you very much. Call it a way to get to know each other better. I never kissed a man. Now you drink. Because you kissed a man. I've never been in love. You've never been in love. I ain't drinking, am I? I've never been married. <coughs> oh, she's been married. Oh, nope. Last very long. Oh, yeah, she did. Okay. Never blamed a boar for all my problems. <laughs> Never carried a letter around for 20 years because I couldn't get over my baggage. He's like, okay, you went too far there. I never killed a man. Oh. But Sawyer Secrets? has it. Oh, there goes the drink. I think I know who. Looks like we got something coming after all. It started off fun, and then it got really dark. Right? <laughs> Was he picturing the boar? Yeah. You're <laughs> shaking. It's because he can't get over his revenge. There are hoof marks everywhere. It ain't all our stuff. Nope, it ain't your stuff. Oh, of course. 
Warner. Don't shoot. Oh, son of a... Oh! Peed on my shirt. I took my shirt out of the bag and peed on it. My sister Jeannie died when I was a boy. I fell off the monkey bar and broke her neck. And my mother, well, my foster mother, she blamed herself, of course. She thought she wasn't watching close enough. So she stopped... Oh, wisdom. Wisdom. Eating. Stopped sleeping. The neighbors started talking. Afraid she might do something to herself, I guess. About six months after Jeannie's funeral, this golden retriever comes padding up our driveway, walks right into our house, sits down on the floor, and looks right at my mother there on the couch. And my mother looks back at the dog. After about a minute of this, then both staring at each other like that, my mother bursts into tears. Dog slept in Jeannie's old room on Jeannie's old bed and stayed with us until my mother passed five years later. Then disappeared back to wherever it was she came from in the first place. So you're saying the dog was your sister? Well, that would be silly. But my mother thought it was. Thought that Jeannie come back to tell her the accident wasn't her fault. Let her off the hook. Boom, Sawyer. Fellow American, huh? Good for you. Where about you from? Tennessee. This is Southern woman. <laughs> oh, shit. That's woman. probably the worst thing you could have said in that moment. Oh, really? Name's Frank, by the way. Oh, he knows. Good to meet you, James. Okay? One shrimp and hot sauce. I hate to hold my hand out, but I seem to have misplaced my wallet. What's your name, cowboy? Sawyer. The Sawyer. May find whatever he's looking for at the bottom of a glass. Jack's dad. What brings you to Sydney? Intertwinement. Mm -hmm. Business. I was the chief of surgery. What? Yeah, I was. You are suffering. Don't beat yourself up about it. It's fate. Some people are just supposed to suffer. That's why the Red Sox will never win the damn series. Right now, he thinks that I hate him. He thinks I feel betrayed by him. But what I really feel is gratitude and pride because of what he did to me. What he did for me. I could tell him that I love him. One simple phone call and I could fix everything. Why don't you? Because I am weak. This, uh, this business that you have, will it ease your suffering? Yeah. Then what are you doing here? But if you only know what you were telling him that he should go do, <laughs> you might uh, be speaking a different tune. Here we go. Or not. <laughs> you gotta wait a little bit longer. You had to check up on me. You killed a man. A man who killed one of us. Who kidnapped Claire. Who strung me up and left me for dead. He deserved to die. I'll do it again in a minute. When I was in the army in the creek in Iraq, the man who lived next door was a policeman. One day his car was rigged with a bomb. It killed his wife and three young children instead. I volunteered to be on the firing squad, and I did my duty without a single ounce of remorse. Then, for no reason, I found myself waking up at night, replaying what I did in my head. All I'm saying is that what happened with Ethan will be with you for the rest of your life. Any suggestions? You're not alone. Yeah, piggy, piggy, piggy! Sawyer, put it down. It's not Yeah, yeah, piggy, piggy, piggy! Piggy, piggy, piggy! What's the matter with you, Sawyer? You're gonna hurt it! We're right over here! Not funny! Yeah, bring me out! Oh, you're sick. Put that baby piglet down. Find your own way home. No problem. These two. Sorry. <coughs> no hesitation on that one. I got a letter for you. Dear Mr. Sire. Oh. What the hell are you talking about? You didn't have to tell him that we're to pay. You borrowed money from him. I was gonna pay. It'll come back around. 
Awkward. <laughs> you understand what just happened? The guy that went to his hotel room wanted that guy dead, so he told Sawyer that it was the guy he was... Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, it, yeah When yeah, it really yeah. wasn't. Yeah, so he just used killed... Him. Yeah, he used him as a hitman, basically. God damn! Are you the only one that sees this thing? <laughs> See what he should have done with the dude. Don't kill the wrong boar. Let's get back to camp. He really isn't equipped. Dang, he's really coming along on that raft, isn't he? Yes, he is. <laughs> Literally the first time we've seen it, and it's already like huge. Sure. Him up. Trying to be funny? Does he have to do it that way? Yeah. I made a deal with your girlfriend. Kate, where did she get you? Nothing she wasn't willing to borrow, man. He Why had to do that, that didn't he? I said that's why the Red Sox will never win the series. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It's just is something he gonna I put it together? To go through oh, life shit. knowing that people hated him. Light bulb. Instead of taking responsibility for it, he just put it on fate. Your daddy. He a doctor too? He was. Was? I knew it. He's dead. Why do you want to know about my father? Oh, because I met him in Australia. Now, he's got to be thinking some weird shit. No reason. He's going to save it, right? He's going to save it for an opportune moment because that's what Sawyer does. <laughs> Are you upset that it ended? <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah, that was uh, crazy that Sawyer killed the wrong person. Yeah, and it was that dude all the time. And basically, the the boar was a representation of that guy coming back to haunt him, basically, or whatever. That's what I saw it as. But yeah, that's pretty messed up that that dude was like, oh yeah, that's him. That's, the, that's your guy. Should have killed him, Sawyer. I mean, the one dude, the Terminator dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean. I know exactly, yeah. Yeah. Whenever whenever I see that dude, I just picture him, like, turning into a liquid metal and, like, melting. Because, <laughs> you know. Yeah, and his voice. Or, huh? like, running in his right? cop uniform. <laughs> or whatever it was. Ugh. But, yeah. Interesting episode. What'd you think? No, I, I liked it. Um... There's a lot of thinking in this one. Yeah. Trying to put this one together. Um, and more connections being made with how Sawyer met Jack's dad in the bar that, in Australia. That I thought was the most interesting And Sawyer part of also all. saw who, who did he see? Charlie? No, Boone. Boone in the police station. Yeah. So yeah. Is Sawyer, has Sawyer just met all of them? You know, like. I don't know, it's weird, because it's always been Sawyer that has had some sort of connection. Or maybe it just happens that way. It I don't know if it's going to be all, everybody he runs into. Probably not, but that's But it's real weird that he ran into Jack's father. And they had that conversation. His father was the one that kind of pushed him to do what he did. And now he's putting two and two together. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting show. Yep. But thank you guys so much yeah. for watching this episode with us. The boar. The boar. <laughs> they should have named this episode The Boar. <laughs> Please leave a like on this video. Leave your comments and questions down below. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Share the video and 
squish that bell. And we hope you guys all have an amazing and awesome day. Hope amazing happens to you. Until next time and lost. Peace out.